What's up guys, Dustin with NC Bass TV, back at it again with another video, and uh, another review video today, I've got the uh, favorite Defender Lunkers TV Edition rod, and uh, I've actually, this is one of my new setups, and I'll show you guys, you guys know what this looks like, it's a beautiful rod. I've got that paired up with this very, very nice Daiwa Fuego reel as well. But uh, guys, today I'm pretty much going to walk around this pond. I'm going to fish it. Fish with this rod. Put this wind out there. I'm pretty much going to walk around the pond today. Fish with this rod. Get a feel for it. I haven't used it yet. But it is a beautiful rod. This is a 7.3 medium heavy. I'm going to use this as a cranking rod. I mean, it's really going to do more than that. But that's pretty much going to be my use for the rod. But guys, this is a beautiful rod. I love what Favorite does. My whole lineup is Favorite uh, for 2019, so that's pretty much the, the way that I'm going with uh, with my rod selection. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be. I mean, it's just that's just what I like. I like what they do. I like the guys, uh, the YouTube guys. Uh, they inspire me to do what I do. And uh, also, I'm looking into switching to Daiwa reels, a few other uh, reels as well. But Daiwa 13 Fluger, I'm big fans of what they do. But uh, anyway, this is about this rod, the favorite Defender rod. So um, I'm going to try it out a little bit and get a feel for it. Unfortunately, I forgot my chest mount. I don't know how I did it. I forgot my chest mount. I'm going to have you guys right here. Uh, I'm going to set you up where you can kind of watch me fishing with it a little bit. And hopefully, we'll hook up on a fish and I'll really get to test out this beautiful rod. But uh, again, it's the Lunkers Defender TV rod and it's powered by Favorite with that beautiful red, white, and blue pattern and the uh, the nice grips, the nice black camo grips as well. And uh, obviously on the back side right here, the bend was right. So without further ado, I'm going to try to fish with this thing a little bit and uh, see if we can't catch a big fish. All right, guys, so what I can tell you so far about this rod is that it loads up good. It throws really, really nice as far as like the quality when you're taking it back to, to throw that bait out there. The, you feel it from the power from the base. 
the when you're throwing this when you're throwing this uh this crank out there the load up you can feel it come from like the you know the thick part of the rod you can feel it load up and then it just it just slings it on out there and the handle that fits nicely the butt fits nicely up around where i like to keep it right up here around my chest whenever i'm setting the hook or pulling back and reeling in the fish but so far so good i mean i'm gonna give this an a so far it feels really really nice uh this this rod retails for 130 and uh i i mean it's it, you get it you get a good rod you get a really nice rod for 130 dollars i think personally if you're used to around that now if you go you can buy and you're used to buying 500 dollars rods and then you buy this and obviously it's more it's probably not going to perform like a 500 dollars rod but that being said if you're used to that 100 150 dollars range i don't think you will at all be disappointed in, in this rod right here i think this will do everything you need it to and do it well and, and feel nice in your hand while doing it and all while it's doing all that it's going to look really really pretty i mean guys this is a beautiful rod but um i'm gonna i'm gonna fish with it a little bit longer keep you guys set up and uh and see if we can't hook up on any more i mean that was wild to throw it out there the first time i ever cast it and, and and bring in a nice two and a half three pound bass but uh anyways let's keep let's keep fishing with this with this uh lunkers tv defender rod here we go all right guys one thing i wanted to do with this rod was check the versatility of it i've been throwing that lipless crank that 3 8 ounce uh, lipless crank now i've got tied on a quarter ounce uh jig head like swim bait head with a um three and a half 3.3 inch kayak on it i'm gonna toss this around and just see how this rod does with something a little bit lighter and a different feel and i might try out a few other baits as well but here we go let's try this out Alright guys, for my third lure, I'm going to try it on this uh, Lunkers TV uh, Defender Rod. I'm going to try this 3 8 ounce spinner bait here, so let's give it a shot. All right, guys. I had the I, I tried out three different lures today. I tried the spinner bait out, the um, Kitek on a jig head, like a swim jig head, and then the three eight ounce um, lipless crank bait. Um, I think I, I think this rod did a really good job considering the trying out the three different lures. Um, the seven it, it being a seven three rod, a little bit longer, it helps with the castability. Uh, to get that, uh, it was a quarter ounce jig head I was throwing to get that quarter ounce jig head on out there. Uh, the spinner bait is not super heavy. I want to say, I was thinking it was a 3 8 but I think it's a little bit lighter than that. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I think it's a little bit lighter than that, but it got it out there pretty well. Uh, that 3 8 ounce uh, crankbait was no problem. It bombed that out, which you, you guys know those are, those are bomb baits anyways. But uh, overall, for the 130 price range, I think this rod is extremely competitive. It would have to be at the top. I haven't tried all the rods out around that area, obviously, but um, I mean, it is a it is a really, really, really nice. And you got the favorite uh, logo down there on the butt of the, the butt of the um, rod. Again, I mean, really, why I wanted to buy this rod and try this rod out is because initially because of how pretty the rod is. And you guys can see. I mean, it it really is a nice, I mean, it's a beautiful rod. So honestly, that was the initial reason why I wanted this rod so bad. And um, again, huge shout out to Iron Mountain Tackle. Actually right here behind me. Uh, the shop is anyways. Huge shout out to them for hooking me up with this rod and this reel, which a review is coming on this dial with Fuego very soon. Love this reel. Love, love, love this rod. And uh, like, this is part of the 2019 arsenal. So um, get used to seeing this, this beautiful rod right here. Um, again, this is a 7.3 medium heavy Lunkers Defender rod by favorite. And um, 
I couldn't be more happy with my, with my purchase. Again, I'm, I'm leaning towards the favorite brand anyways for my rods. So me, me uh, coming across this rod and, and adding it to the arsenal is perfect. I think that if you guys went and bought it, and again, if you're used to rods in that, um, if you're used to rods in that 100 to $150 range, um, I don't think you'll be disappointed in this rod at all. I mean, obviously, if you're used to buying higher end rods, then it, it, you can't expect it to perform with the $500 rods or something like that. But it will perform as expected really, really well. What I can tell you is the $130 price range is not its not crazy. It is perfectly good. It's better than that. So um, if you go spend $130 on this rod or buy the $100 one that's not the Lunkers TV Edition rod, um, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. It's a pretty light rod. Uh, not, I don't think it's quite as light as that six cents that I tried out in the last review. Um, go check that one out as well. It's a beautiful rod, a fantastic rod for also 150 and lower. But um, I don't think it's quite as light as that, but it feels as well built. It feels great in your hand. Uh, not real top heavy, not real butt heavy. The ducks are yelling at me. Overall, guys, I'm super happy with my purchase. Um, I think this is a very versatile rod. I think that if you guys went and picked up this 7.3 medium heavy, you could do a, a lot of different things with it. It's not the only style that comes in. He's got several different um, weights and um, and uh, tip speeds and everything. But uh, for me, this is what I needed to add to the arsenal, guys. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy uh, and excited for what 2019 holds with, uh, with my favorite lineup. But you guys, take another look at this rod, and be sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Huge shout out to Iron Mountain Tackle again. Also, guys, any subscriber line to my channel, if you go to Iron Mountain Tackle, you will get a 20 to 25% discount off of whatever you buy. It doesn't matter the price. You spend $100, you spend $10. There's a 20 to 25% discount off if you are subscribed to my channel and can provide proof of that. Thank you guys so much. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. What should I review next? Um, I'm, I'm really interested in keeping these reviews up. That way I can help you guys with your future purchases. So whatever you guys are, are thinking about buying, I can pretty much get my hands on anything. So um, leave it in the comment section below, and uh, and 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 it may it may be coming in a future video. But guys, be sure to subscribe. Check out Iron Mountain Tackle on Instagram. It's Iron Mountain Tackle on Instagram. Follow us on there. And uh, God bless. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.